San Diego was kind of a bust for me. Um, I really didn't do much. It turns out that I went uh, during the only two weeks where it was going to be really bad weather. Um, but I did get to work with a guy named Ray who he, uh, he was an awesome guy. He uh, used me several times to uh, help him make uh, mantles for fireplaces. Uh, well, it was only one that I helped him with, but it was a few days project. Um, then uh, I had also picked up some work uh, helping somebody turn a vacation rental uh, in La Mesa. And so the day that that happened, was, that I got to work in La Mesa, which would have been about a, almost two weeks after I'd been there, uh, it was my highest paying job there. So uh, I kind of took the opportunity to leave, which is a bittersweet because it finally was good weather, but it wasn't enough to... I mean, I had already been dealing with almost $4 a gallon in gas, and you waste so much gas just sitting in traffic over there that it, it just became so much. Everything that I earned from Ray it pretty much just went into the gas tank just to make it back and forth. So I kind of took the opportunity to start heading northeast um, without a ride share. So right now I am going to uh, Las Vegas. Uh, figured I'd find a, some work there make a few hundred bucks. I'm going to start heading up towards Colorado after that. Uh, hopefully I won't be in Vegas for too long. Um, right now I am at, uh, see if I can pronounce this right, uh, Zyzex Road, uh, Zyzex uh, Hot Springs or Soda Lake Hot Springs or something like that. And um, I'm going to stay here for the day. I'm going to try to get some evening footage during uh, during the golden hour where the sun's starting to go down. Uh, do some hiking around that area. Um, clean up the van a bit. Uh, had an ac There was an accident on the highway last night and I was coming around the corner uh, highway speeds and all of traffic was completely stopped, so I ended up having to slam the brakes. Tossed everything forward, so I got some messes to clean up. Yeah, it, I don't have a Phantom. Um, I bought a cheaper drone just to kind of work with, and just in case this channel does go somewhere, then I'll purchase a better one. But I'm using the SEMA X8HG, and uh, it has a HD action camera on it but it's a real flat footage and you got to actually fly it. There's no app for it. There's, you can't see what's on the camera. So you really got to work with it to try to get any good shots. So I'll, I'll show you the good stuff of what okay, I did. Okay. So we are going to go check out the Zyzex, uh, hot water spring and the lake I brought the drone just in case, uh, I'm able to get some footage. Uh, we got probably about an hour and a half until it starts getting really good lighting, so let's go check it out.
much after this I'm gonna head over to Vegas see if I can't find some work I'm in Vegas there's always people looking for rides so maybe I can catch somebody looking for a ride somewhere into the Rockies because I'd like to spend a few days in the Rockies maybe hammock camping and and enjoying the woods up there before making my way to Denver and then start going north from there to uh, towards Fort Collins I might spend some time in Fort Collins uh, or Loveland area actually um, I have a connection out there an old boss so I might be able to catch a few weeks of work so if that pans out I'll, I'll be staying out there for a couple of weeks and then I'll head up towards uh, Cheyenne and then east from Cheyenne to Chicago where my brother is uh, haven't seen him in a little while so and then I gotta make it to the sugar beet harvest by October so we'll see how everything goes. There's an electrical problem. Is this the end of van life? 